Yeah, it's another close one. You know, I want to go back, watch it, and then assess. But my team are pretty confident I won every round. But, yeah, it was a tight one. You no, know, it absolutely was. A win is a win, right? But, I mean, I'm just curious, as you feel right now, team says you feel good. But personally, how do you feel about the way things played out versus your expectations tonight? Um, Yeah, I was like, he's a... It's hard to read, and I didn't know what to expect going in there, so I just wanted to be defensively sound and land shots. I th yeah, I was expecting. I wanted to try and take him out in the last round, but, yeah, just it was hard to read. Obviously, you know, I mean, he's going to have length. He's, he's, you know, he had volume as well. I mean, was that what you were expecting to see out of him tonight, or was it, was it even different than maybe what you had trained for or what you thought you'd see? No, it was. I feel like it was much of what I thought I would see. From him, and yeah, he sort of delivered. Obviously, we were going in there thinking it's hard to know what to expect. I didn't want to get get into like the talking exchanges with him, but I just did. I, I did. But. <laughs> I was going to ask you about that, right? Like, because it seemed like not necessarily that you played into it. It seemed like mostly it was at like the end of rounds and stuff like that. But you did kind of have some smiles and some banter in, in those things, yeah. right? Yeah, I did. I did. As I, I didn't want to get involved, but it was hard not to. It was interesting. I've never fought someone there does that sort of thing before so it was interesting why is it so hard to resist is it because he's trash talking to you or because it's funny and like you want to have fun like what, what is it he's a i feel like he's a he's a likable guy you know i like to go in there and have a bit of a killer instinct but he's he's talking he was just kind of a likable guy that's funny uh how confident were you you had one because i think a lot of us weren't really sure where the score was going to be at what, what did you think at the end of three rounds i mean i thought i was winning i feel like i was pushing the pack like Landing their heavy shots, but as soon as I heard split decision, I thought, you know, you never know, do you? Unfortunately, it's uh, yeah, you never know with the judges, and like after a fight like that, it's hard to tell. Nice. Last thing for me, I guess. I mean, that's two, as you said, razor thin, tough fights in relatively short order. Do you, what's the plan for here? I mean, you need some time off. Do you want to get booked again right away? Uh, I feel good. I want to fight before, probably get one more in before the end of the year. But yeah, I'll just go back home make a long journey home and get back into training and then yeah look try and book the next fight jack do you remember some of the things he was saying to you yeah, he saw at the like yeah he said things like yeah this is a fun fight and he also said we should train at some point <laughs> when whenever you're next in america and i saw i was just like we're, we're fighting like let's go <laughs> Is it when you're dealing with someone like that? Is it almost like you said you want to have a killer instinct? Yeah, when he's talking and being so like light hide, does it kind of take you out of fight mode into sparring mode? Does it take you like what does it do to you mentally? Does it kind of just it's, chill everything out? It's interesting, it's weird. I've never felt it before. I knew it was coming and it still sort of flung me off a bit, but yeah, it was weird. It sort of makes it a bit more, uh, bit more, yeah, a bit more friendly, which I wasn't, I wanted to, yeah, I want to take the take my opponent out, but I tried. When you, when you look at Kevin, you know, he's a long, long range of guys. He one of the guys that potentially stylistically might be your trickiest challenge in this division. You know, those longer guys might be able to hold you off in a way. Of course, you know, I want to try. I plan on getting to the inside and doing my best work on the inside. So always when someone's got the range, it's a tricky game to try and get to the inside. And but yeah, I feel like we, I feel like I did pretty good. You asked me. Jack over here. Obviously with Kevin Holland, we never know if he's being serious or not, but if that proposal to train with, with him when you're in America next uh, is real, would you accept it? Yeah, maybe. I feel like I just come to America to fight, so maybe not come to train, but maybe. Yeah, I wouldn't say no to having another throw some punches at Kevin Holland. <laughs> Fair enough. And uh, obviously it's not the fight maybe the fans expected and perhaps more of a technical performance from both of you. Was there any part of you that felt frustration in there knowing Kevin wouldn't go away or just the way he fought tonight? I mean, I was trying, you know. It's like, yeah, I've got to be defensively sound. I've got to try and not get my head splattered across the cage. So I wanted to be defensively sound and pick my shots. So I was trying. And uh, the last two fights weren't your typical JDM fights where you go out and get your opponent out of there inside the distance. But do you think you needed to go through fights like your last two in order to continue to develop? Yeah, for sure. I think every fight you can pick things away. And especially when you get three rounds in, there's a lot more film to study and a lot more like technical aspect you can work on and just good experience. <clears throat> and uh, obviously you finally got your fight at the T-Mobile Arena that you've been asking for. How was this fight week for you? Yeah, it was awesome. It was awesome for it just to run smoothly, get to the fight and fight. And then, yeah, it was the first time I've ever been in there. And it's a pretty impressive arena. And just being at the top there and looking down, it's, it's a cool like, thing to tick off the, the list of things I've done. 
And uh, any names now that come to mind for your next outing? Nah, not really. I'm just whoever. I want to fight before the end of the year and fight whoever. Awesome. Thank you. Hey, Jack. Hey, Jack. Uh, there, th there's a couple names that, that, that people have been throwing out. You know, there's the rebooking of Sean Brady, obviously. People are throwing out Vicente Luque, maybe a Shaka Rachmanov. Any of those names kind of stick out? E even yeah, more? honestly, all of them. Like, I'm not going to call one of them out, but, like, any one of them. If they, if I got offered the first one they offered me, I'll probably just jump on it and say, let's go. But all those, uh, they're challenging fights and exciting matchups. Now that you got your co-main out of the way, are, are you ready to go five rounds and main event a card? Yeah, I feel like I could have put another two rounds in then with Kevin, if need be. And obviously, um, the fans were talking shit after your last fight. Do you think that you did enough to shut people up? Probably not. I don't think you can ever shut everyone up. So, yeah, but I'm sure they will keep talking shit. <laughs> Congrats. Yeah. Uh, Jack, right yeah. over here. Uh, Jack, um, now that we're after the fact, you got to fight in Me Mexican Independence Day as an Australian. Now that it's over, do you wish that you had gone to fight last week? Or, you know what, were you good with the vibe? I mean, everything happens for a reason. And it was an awesome experience and just didn't work out last week. But I loved it, yeah. And then can you explain how satisfied were you with the adjustments you were making throughout the fight to deal with his range and everything else? Yeah, I felt like I was making good adjustments. I feel like I was pretty defensively sound. I, f I think I saw a lot of the shots he was throwing, and I feel like I, yeah, defended a lot of them. So, But obviously, yeah, look, go back, look back, and suss it out. Uh, final question. Your countrywoman, Casey, said in an interview recently that sometimes with Australians, there's the tall poppy syndrome, that there's not always that support from your countrymen when one of you guys is doing really well. Is that something you've ever felt or do you feel like it's maybe more complicated? I don't know. I feel like I get, yeah, I've, everyone that I care about gives me close support. So I'm happy with the support I get. How are you going to celebrate this one? Just going to go back and, yeah, just chill out, relax with the team. The team obviously come a long way with me, so just celebrate with them. Let's go. Let's do it. Uh, just real quick, you, you had mentioned how fighting here at the T-Mobile uh, what's like a thing you wanted to do? Is there any other things that you have in your bucket list as far as fighting goes? Fighting? Uh, yeah, I want to fight all over the place. New York, I would love to fight in New York. It would be a pretty cool, uh, cool place to fight and to visit. Thank you.